It's now to Senegal, where one of the world's largest reforestation projects is underway. With the help of locals, the country's former environment minister, Haida El Ali, has already planted, get this, 125 million mangrove buds since they began doing so in 2009. Now, the goal is to re-green not just Senegal, but the whole Sahel region. Senegal needs more trees. And Haider El Ali, who heads a large-scale reforestation project, is busy getting them planted. Scientists say that without major reforestation, Senegal will lose half its arable land within the next five years. Here on the coast of the Casamance region, farmland has become unusable due to salination. Mangroves that once protected the shoreline were cut down for firewood and building material. The farmers were desperate. Salt was encroaching into their rice fields, which were no longer producing rice. It was difficult for them. But mangroves are a rich ecosystem. They hold back floodwaters, deter land erosion and act as a natural salt barrier. They also store up to five times as much carbon dioxide as other trees. Once it became clear just how beneficial the mangroves are to farmers, things began to change. They were concerned about their rice fields and they became heavily involved in planting mangroves because of their rice fields. Lala Diem was one of them. For four years, villagers in Cagnobo have been working to save their paddies. The initiative is organised and financed by the NGO Oceanium. Haider, its former president, started the project. Our rice fields no longer produce good harvests because salt water is invading them more and more. We now know the reason. It's because the mangroves have disappeared. We need to replant them. Luckily, Oceanium provides us with mangrove buds. Further north, in the extremely arid Matam region close to the Sahara Desert, Il Ali came up with a more unconventional method. During the wet season, nomads' herds graze here. The animals have been recruited to help plant a forest. It'll be part of the Great Green Wall that aims to curtail desertification of the Sahel region. The herd is fed the fruits of the prosopis, a fast-growing tree that needs little water. The animals spread the seeds in their dung. Young men from the village of Usuye also help. They use slings to scatter seeds of the African mahogany. The intention is to introduce more diversity. Without the animals, it was necessary to think of an alternative way to disseminate the seeds. I don't wait for things to solve themselves. I'm a man of action. The mangroves are especially dear to lifelong ecologist Haider El Ali's heart. Due to his efforts, over 150 million buds have already been planted. And in a few years' time, Cagnobo's rice paddies should be salt-free.